episode number 19 of the Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty Mode here on NCAA 14. And unfortunately, we lost our last game. We lost the Florida Gators. Uh, we're down to 17 now, which honestly isn't horrible. I thought we were going to drop down a lot lower, but we're still number 17 in the country. And in tonight's episode, we will be taking on another ranked team. It will be the number 16 ranked Auburn Tigers. They are undefeated. And for Tennessee, it's a you know a quick way back to get on your winning ways against another ranked squad. Let's hope we can get the job done. The rankings, again, already passed. But somehow Miami's in the rankings at 0-2. I don't know how stuff works here with the NCAA 14 rankings, but here's Auburn's schedule. They're 3-0 so far. They beat Kansas State, Mississippi State, and Missouri. But honestly, those three teams aren't the greatest. And then for our schedule so far, we are 3-1. We beat Cal, who was ranked at the time. We beat ranked Arkansas and Fresno State. I mean, they're 0-4 right now. But that's besides the point. It's going to be Tennessee versus Auburn here tonight. Number 17 versus number 16. Someone's got to make a huge jump in the rankings after a win tonight. And let's hope it will be the Volunteers on the road. It is raining here here at Auburn. Can Tennessee get back on their winning ways? Arch Manning versus Bo Nix here tonight. Again, as normal, you might see a little bit of Joe Milton. You might not, but currently Tennessee with the number two passing offense in the country, 112th rushing offense, fifth in the, in the NCAA in passing touchdowns and ninth in rushing touchdowns. Tennessee's offense is always on point. The defense is doing okay. Of course, last week they had a lot of trouble against Emory Jones. They could not stop the run of the Florida Gators. We will see if we will be able to contain it Tank Bigsby and this running attack from the Auburn Tigers. And folks, if you haven't yet, make sure that subscribe button down below for some more NCAA 14 here on the channel. And if you want to see Tennessee versus Georgia, our next game, 65 likes on this episode for episode 20 on Saturday. So make sure you hit that like button down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And we'll take on in real life's reigning champs in the Georgia Bulldogs. Obviously, no Stetson Bennett anymore here on this dynasty. And I believe GT Daniels went out to the draft, so I'm not entirely sure who is the quarterback for Georgia, but I guess we'll find out hopefully on Saturday. Again, if we get that 65 likes, we'll get that Georgia game going up this weekend. But for now, number 17, Tennessee versus number 16, Auburn. Who will win this one? Starting with football first, will be the Auburn Tigers. Here comes Bo Nix on a third and seven. I don't know where you're going. Turnage is right there for the interception, and Tennessee immediately is going to turn over Auburn. We're going to return it down to the 28. Big play to start out for the Tennessee defense. Brandon Turnage on the pick. And we'll take over now from that 28-yard line. Arch Manning dropping back on a first and 10, scrambling to his left. Arch looking to run on the first play. And Manning's out of first down more. Arch Manning for a gain of 14 yards on the ground scrambling. Of course, here comes a first and 10. It'll be a triple option. Manning's going to keep. Will he pitch? He will. Going to tie on Evans. Evans. Oh, my goodness. The truck. And Evans gets in. It's a 15-yard touchdown for Tennessee. It only took him two plays after the turnage pick. And Tennessee goes up 7-0 here on the road. All right, Bo Nix gets the football back here from around the 45-yard line. Nix is going to run here on a first and 10. He'll pick up the first down, maneuvering his way down. He's still on his feet. Oh, my goodness. Nix for a gain of 17 yards, and he's got Armour now into Tennessee territory. It will be a third and three for the offense. Nix dropping back, looking to his left. Where are we going? Hayden's got the pick. Oh, and he's going to try to return it all the way. No chance in hell. Bo Nix has thrown two interceptions in under three minutes, and we're going to go 14-0. Return for a touchdown to pick six, Kamal Hayden. Nix is four for seven with two picks, and Tennessee goes up 14 to nothing in just the first quarter. And the Volunteers offense really hasn't had to do anything so far. I mean, they got 30 yards in touchdown, but other than that, we're still up 14 nothing because the defense is playing lights out so far in this game. Again, Tennessee's pass defense is pretty solid. The run D, though, Questionable at best. So there's Tank Bigsby out the backfield. Oh my goodness, he has ran over like three players. Tank Bigsby's going to pick up 29 yards on that little dump off pass by Bo Nix. It'll be a first and 10 for the Tigers offense. Nix looking to his left. Instead of going to Bigsby, it's going to go to Jordan Ingram. And Ingram's going to pick up 13 yards, getting Auburn in the red zone. Now they face a third and four. Nix from under center, dropping back, looking to throw to his right, going to Ingram again. But Jordan Ingram's going to lose three yards, stepping out of bounds. And instead, the Tigers will be forced to kick a field goal from the right hash. It should be a chip shot, and they've got it. So Auburn cuts the lead to 11. 14-3 is our score for Tennessee. So the offense got to come out now from the 40-yard line. Manning on a play-action fake. Looking over the middle. He's got Ramel Keenan. 
Keenan gets them down to the 40-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 20 for the Tennessee offense. And now first and 10 from that 40-yard line. Manning on a play-action fake, looking to let one fly potentially over the middle. Jalen Hyatt's got it. Oh, I thought the ball's going to be picked. Instead, it's fumbled. Owen Popo is going to pick it up. I mean, it was an incredible grab by Hyatt, but then he drops the football. Luckily for us, Auburn goes three and out as Bo Nix throws that one away. It was supposed to be a screen, but instead, he'll just throw it out of bounds, and we're going to take over now from about the 42-yard line. Manning on a first and 10, looking for his slant routes, scrambling to his left, Manning on the run. He still goes to Jalen Hyatt. Still got the confidence, of course, and one of the best receivers in football. Hyatt's going to pick up 11. Manning starts three for three in this contest. First and 10 for Arch, looking to his right. Maybe trusting Jalen Hyatt just a little bit too much. This one's going to be picked off. It is Popo again, and just like that, Auburn's got it deep into Tennessee territory, given to about the 40-yard line, but here they come. First and 10 for Bo Nix on a play-action fake, looking to his left. This time, it is not Ingram. It's not Bigsby. It's Jarquez Hunter for a pickup of 14 yards. It gets Auburn down to the 28-yard line. Nix from under center, dropping back, looking to throw to his right. What a ball, and it's caught. Tyler Fromm in the end zone. The tight end in Fromm gets everyone on the corner out, and the Auburn Tigers have cut the lead to five, and eventually four after the PAT, but what an eventful first quarter of football we just watched. The Tennessee Volunteers up by four, but 14 to 10, a very good start to this game. We'll see how it goes. Tennessee, though, currently up by four, getting the football back. Here comes the Tennessee offense on a third and eight empty gun look for Manning. He's got to throw the football. He'll go to his left. Ramal Keenan. That's the balls we like to see out of Arch Manning. Those passes over the top. He'll pick up the first down just for a true freshman. The man's been killing it so far. And here on a third and eight, Manning over the top. Wide open, Cedric Tillman. Tillman's going to get in the end zone. 41 yards to the house. Manning's deep ball has been great all season long, and it's a touchdown for Tennessee. The high-powered offense going to go up by 11, 21 to 10. Auburn gets it back. Bo Nix on a second and 10, stepping up in the pocket. He'll take a shot of his own, but this time it's picked off. Number three in just the first half, Jalen McCullough. What a season the safety has been having so far. He gets another turnover, and Tennessee gets it back from midfield. A second and five for Arch Manning in the pocket. Held on to it too long. He is sacked, and he'll lose 10. So Auburn will now force a third and 16 out of the Tennessee offense. Manning with his four verts looking for Jalen Hyatt downfield. Ball is underthrown. It will be deflected by Auburn, and they will get the football back from about the 45-yard line after a couple solid plays. Bo Nix has got him here on a third and four. Nix to his right. He'll go to Tyler Fromm. Fromm short of the first down marker. Sets up for a fourth and two, and Auburn's going to punt it back. So some very conservative game calling out the Auburn Tigers because we get the ball back with two minutes and you know how quickly this team can score. Manning to Keaton has got Tennessee down to the 43-yard line. First and 10 again for the Tennessee offense. And yeah, don't know why we're going play action with a minute to go or minute 50 to go. No huddle. Whatever, it'll be a second and 17 now for the Tennessee offense. Manning on a slant route going for Ramel Keaton. Instead, it's picked off by Simpson. Keaton with a nice tackle. Manning tried to thread the needle, but to no avail. Jalen Simpson on the pick. And now Bo Nix and the Tigers offense get a chance to put some points on the board before the end of the half. Bo Nix on a third and seven. Just going to have to force it out of the back of his own end zone. The pressure was coming from Tennessee. Of course, Nix doesn't want to throw yet another interception. So here's the second field goal of this game for Auburn from the left hash. It is good. So 21-13 is now our score. Tennessee, of course, still on top. And they get the football back with a minute left. Of course, not trying to turn the football over here. But if we can do something like that, Manning to Tillman. We don't have a great kicker because James Norton is a true freshman and he really doesn't have any power to save his life. So we kind of have to get in the end zone here. What a ball by Manning to get it to Jalen Hyatt. Now we face another third down. It'll be a third and eight. We're three for four in third down so far this game. Can we make it four for five? We will. Manning's going to use his legs. He's got the first and a gain of 12. It'll now be a third and 10 though from the 30-yard line. Again, remember our kicking situation. So we'll go to our left. The air is Cedric Tillman. Got to get out of bounds with only one timeout. I think he did. He did not. We have to burn a timeout. Only eight seconds left. So just shots to the end zone right here. First and goal. Manning over the middle. Walker Merrill. Merrill, the red zone target, gets in. It's only a two-yard touchdown, but we'll take it. Manning to Merrill puts Tennessee up by 15 before the end of the first half. 28 to 13 is your score. The Tennessee Volunteers up top, and they'll get the football to start the second half. So the way that we've been playing, a good solid drive here ending in a touchdown could really put this game away. There's a start. Manning to Tillman's got a first down. We're already into Auburn territory. 
And again, the way our offense plays, it's hard to play from behind. If you are a team like Auburn, it'll be a third and 10 for Manning. Look, and he'll just dump it off to Ty on Evans. Can Evans get the first? He will. His progress gets him over the first down marker. Move the sticks for Tennessee. He'll now be a second and 10 from around the 38. Manning on a read option, gonna keep. Arch Manning gonna get down to about the 30 yard line. Give him a gain of seven right there on the keeper. Third and three now for the Tennessee offense. Manning handoff Evans, he has got it. Arch Manning for a pickup of four, moving them chains for the Tennessee offense. Here with five minutes to go in the third quarter, Manning looking to throw again. He's got time to his right, Jabari Small. What a catch by Small, picking up the first down. The backup running back, the junior has got it. And it'll now be a second and goal. Manning again looking to throw on a safe route. He's got Jimmy Callaway. And the two Auburn defenders ran into each other if you saw it. Callaway with the six yard touchdown. It's Manning's third. It puts Tennessee up 35 to 13. Actually, we're gonna go for two. Why not? We're up by 21, trying to go up by 23. Manning scrambling to his right. I don't know why I did that, but I mean, hey, so we're still up by 21 points, three touchdowns. We should be all right. And the way our defense has been playing so far, there's a huge sack. Thomas is going to drop Knicks for a loss of eight. And Auburn will be forced to punt it to Tennessee. And look at this. We've got it deep into Auburn territory here in a third and two speed option. Tyon Evans has got it. Shakes off a tackle. Look at Tyon Evans work. Pickup of six right there for our starting running back. Now first and 10 for Tennessee from the 20. Manning looking, dump off pass. Evans stays on his feet. Look at the truck. Evans for a pickup of nine makes it a second and one now. Manning from the gun, hand off Evans again, following his blockers and Evans has got another first down conversion. It will be a gain of five down to about the two yard line. But now it's a third and goal after a sack with 16 seconds left here in the third quarter. Manning just gonna dump it off to Cedric Tillman. Tillman's only gonna pick up five yards and Tennessee will have a decision to make going in the fourth quarter, even though it will be likely. We'll just take that field goal to go up by 24. But for now, Tennessee holds a three touchdown lead over the Auburn Tigers, 34-13. And of course the decision will be made. It will be a James Norton field goal. Oh, it's off the uprights. All right, it goes in, whatever. The freshman's got it. We're up 37 to 13. Auburn's just taking forever on this drive here, and eventually they get it down to about the five. It'll be a handoff. Jarquez Hunter's gonna get into the end zone. I mean, still, it's what, an 18 point game right here? The two point conversion, if they don't get it here, it's officially over. So here comes Nix from under center, dropping back. Bo Nix looking to throw, and he will get it. Oh, oh my goodness, he got pushed down, and he went back in. Javarius Johnson, I do believe, was there on the catch. It's a 16 point game. Tennessee just needs a couple first downs here and they can ice this game. So first and 10 for Manning is gonna result in him just thrown into four. I don't know, what are we doing? I mean, Manning trying to force into quadruple coverage. It's his third interception in the game. I mean, horrible decision on my part. I should've just ran the football, but here we go. We left the door open for Auburn ever so slightly. Oh my. Mark Wright's gonna get into the end zone on the seam route. It's a big touchdown for Auburn. It's their fullback. 10 point game, it can be eight with the two point conversion. What will Bo Nix do? Out the gun, Nix looking, he's got a wide open tight end. We sent heavy pressure and instead Tyler from the tight end is left completely open. And look who's in the ball game. Joe Milton trying to ice the game for Tennessee in that Ryan Fitzpatrick Dolphins sort of closer role because he can do stuff like this. Joe Milton running for the first down, he picks up 12. We just need a couple more first downs. Here's a first and 10. Milton keeps on a read option. He's looking to run. Joe Milton's going to pick up eight. I mean, Arch Manning's got all the talent in the world. We just need Milton to end this game, though. He's the senior for a reason. Milton to Cedric Tillman. First down in 12 yards. I think two more first downs will officially end it. It will be a second and nine for Joe Milton from midfield. Milton just dumps off to Tyon Evans. He'll get closer. It'll be a third and three now for the Volunteers offense. It will be a speed option. Milton to his left. He fumbled last game doing this, but instead he gets it on the pitch to Evans and that should do it. Auburn with no more timeouts. Tennessee looking for one more first down. It will be a Milton keep. What an excellent job he has done coming into this game in the last drive of the ball game, working the read option, running the football, and Tennessee's gonna win it here in Auburn. And here comes a touchdown for good measure. Tyon Evans trucks two Auburn Tigers defenders on his way to a touchdown, and this one's over here in Auburn.
The Tennessee Volunteers win it on the road. They win by 15, 44 to 29 is your final. What a bounce back victory for the Tennessee Volunteers after losing last week in Florida. They come back, they beat a team ranked higher than them in the ranking system. They win it by 15 points, a huge victory for Tennessee. Of course, Arch Manning is still the starter of this team, but in that exact situation, I wanted a guy like Joe Millen who's got the experience. He's a senior coming into the season, and I just wanted him to go in there and end this day game of course Manning will be back as a starter of course next week for our all-important matchup against the Georgia Bulldogs but for now Tennessee wins yet another they are now four and one in the season keeping really their title hopes alive we can get in with one loss I feel very good about that and we just got to keep winning football games especially looking at our schedule real quick going into scouting nothing changes with the quarterbacks and the running backs I'm pretty set I mean I'll try to get Victor Rivers the quarterback Running backs, I'm just not interested in either of those guys right now. At receiver, I've really limited our board. I think the guy we're focusing on is the man at Rocky River, Ohio. It is Terrence um, Edwards. And then for tight ends, I don't think we're going to get Joe Kelly. He's probably going to go to Notre Dame or Vandy. Come on, Vandy. And with tackles, we're not going to get Raymond Jude, but Craig Thomas is trying to make a huge push right now. I mean, Virginia Tech's going to be a pain in our ass trying to recruit this guy, but I think we can get Craig Thomas. He's a pretty good tackle, 73 overall coming out of high school. Uh, Brock Tim is another one of those guys trying to go to the Harvard of the West Coast, of course, in Arizona State. I'll say that every single time I talk about Arizona State. Um, we're not going to get Joe Burton. It's just not going to happen. Burton will probably end up in West Virginia, so we're just going to take away all the points we put into him. Of course, Timmons is trying. It's going to be one of our guys. I just removed the other guard, by the way, from our board. Uh, Brian Ward, I'm not concerned about any other teams offering him. I mean, come on, ball. Ball State, NC State, come on. Like Ball State, dude, go back to recruiting Juco players. I, I think Brian Ward should be able to come to the squad. I can't get Surge, bro. We're trying on this guy. I'll stay in the race, but I don't think we're going to get him. We'll go to Bama, I think. Curtis Hackett, though, feel pretty good about this one. Um, we're pulling away from Texas currently. Man, at Tinley Park, Illinois. Outside linebackers, Clay Parker is going to be ours no matter what. Michigan's trying to make a play, but I'm going to take back some of our points really right now um, just because I think we're going to get him no matter what. So I think he's pretty much a lock. Not going to get Reggie Henderson. Uh, the other middle linebacker I just added to the board, it's Randy Jefferson um, out of Kentucky. Looking pretty good here. No one's really offering him anything. So I offer him a scholarship and we'll see how it goes. I think we can really get him on the team. He's not great, but he's serviceable. I'm at corners. The first four we're not going to get. So we're just going to sell for this guy at a Key West. We'll probably add another corner on the board. We'll see how that works. Adam Wheeler. I don't know. I mean, I could make a play last second. I'll probably add some points later, but he's probably going to go to West Virginia. We're going to get two safeties, strong safeties. I've already talked about that earlier. We're going to get both those guys and the athletes. Trying for Steven Richard, the number one guy on the board, but he'll probably go to Pitt. Terrell Lee's probably going to go to Notre Dame. I mean, we're losing points every week. We can schedule a visit, but I think we're going to pull out of the Terrell Lee race, at least not as much as we're investing in right now. Um, Leonard Brown, we're going to get. He's going to be our big athlete pickup alongside Dustin Murphy. And the same with Tremaine Anderson. We're looking good there. Collier, probably not going to get. Melvin Andrews, we just put all of our chips in the middle of the table um, for Andrews in the last episode. And I think we're probably going to get him. Um, alongside a lot of these athletes, I feel pretty good on the guys we're in first place in right now. And yeah, I think our recruiting class is going to be solid. Not as good as last year, because last year we had one of the best recruiting classes you could ask for, but we're doing solid right now. So folks, that'll do it for episode number 19 of the Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty Mode here on NCAA 14. If you want to see episode 20, Tennessee and Georgia, 65 likes on this video. So make sure to hit that like goal, folks. Make sure that subscribe button too, if you did enjoy the video. Thank God for watching. And Mampa, forever.